Hi there, study buds. Welcome to Study World. This is your study bud, Jana. For today's trip, we're going to explore what science is. But first things first, has anything piqued your interest lately and made you wonder, why does it happen? How does it work? Or what is involved? Because if so, that is already science. Science is both the process of discovering things in the physical and natural world and the pool of knowledge of their what's, how's, and why's. It is a systematic and logical pursuit done through observation and investigation. It allows us to link isolated facts into coherent and comprehensive understandings of the universe. It encompasses everything, those we already know and we still do not know. It is a broad area of study, but there are three main branches it is classified into. Physical science, earth science, and the life science. Now let's discuss the gist of each of these branches and the areas of study under it. The first branch is physical science. Physical science is the study of inanimate natural objects and the laws that governs them. Under this are physics, the study of motion and energy of matter, and the interactions between them. Chemistry, the study of matter and the changes it undergoes. And astronomy, the study of the universe beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Second is Earth science. Earth science is the study of the Earth and the physical components that make it up. The constitution of atmosphere, the seas, the lands, and how those things are tied together. Under it are geology, the science of the origin, history, and structure of the earth, and the physical, chemical, and biological changes that it has experienced or is experiencing. Oceanography, the study and the exploration of the ocean. Paleontology, the science of the forms of life that existed in prehistoric or geologic periods. And meteorology, the science that deals with the atmosphere and its phenomena, such as weather and climate. The last main branch is the life science or biology. As its name suggests, bio meaning life, it is the study of life in all of its forms, the living things called organisms. Under this are botany, the study of plants, zoology, the science that covers animals and animal life, genetics, the study of heredity, and medicine, the science of diagnosing, treating, and preventing illness, disease, and injury. These branches are only the other half of science. 
just like what I've said earlier, science is both the process and the body of knowledge. It is anchored by facts and evidences. The process called scientific method allows us to collect information, investigate a phenomena or the unknowns logically and systematically. It involves observation, formation of a question, formulation of a hypothesis, or an educated guess or explanation, experimentation, data analysis, and drawing of a conclusion or result. Science has improved the quality of our lives at many different levels. Without it, we would stop progressing and we would never be able to understand how things work. Knowledge is power and science is our greatest weapon and aid for anything that might happen. Also remember that science is a cumulative knowledge of facts from the past, in the present, and until the future. It is an endeavor everyone does every day. It's not just about mind-exploding complicated concepts, but it is also about the thrill of the process of learning new things through whatever way it is. And that's it for our introduction to science. This has been Study Bud Jana. Till our next trip, Study Buds!